we celebrate Mothering Sunday in many parts of the world. Welcome, brothers and sisters from all over Mother Earth, coming together to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. It was St. Francis of Assisi who first used the term Mother Earth. Realising that everything is interconnected, we're all part of the same shining web, creation our mother. And we have another magnificent day here, another gift from God. Deep, deep blue skies reminding us of the comfort of the mantle of our mother Mary. We have no clouds today reminding us of our transformation and that everything changes but we certainly have so many butterflies reminding us that everything passes and we have so many beautiful colored flowers in the valley creation is so alive in this month of May as we celebrate the Divine Mother. Try to be as comfortable as you possibly can. If you're lying on a crystal bed, just relax. The Casa crystals are very, very powerful. And if you choose to sit upright with our heads elevated just a little, this is great also. So this energy can flow fluidly, freely and easily through each and every one of us, like a river, a current of love and light. It's a good idea to put water beside us and we ask the entities to come and bless this beautiful water, this gift from Mother Nature. Water is the mother of our souls. And many of our brothers and sisters are experiencing phenomenal healing in this solemn hour. And the entities are always with us. So just be open to receive. And let's be grateful for this opportunity to work together as one heart. As we close our physical eyes, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see everything beyond appearances. All there is, we are reminded again and again and again that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're so much more the body merely houses our eternal spirits. And no better day than to celebrate the Divine Mother with Our Lady of Montserrat, the Black Madonna. A beautiful entity of light and love. The Virgin of Montserrat is a Marian title associated with this venerated statue pictured here of the Majana and Child at the Benedictine Monastery of Santa Maria the Montserrat in Catalonia, in Spain. She's the patron saint of Catalonia. 
This image is one of the Black Madonnas of Europe, hence its familiar Catalan name, La Morenata, the little dark-skinned one. Believed by some to have been carved in Jerusalem in the early days. The Virgin in majesty is sitting upon the throne of wisdom. With reference to the house of David, King Solomon, the wise one. And the forefathers of our brother Jesus. Our Lady is seated with the child on her lap in a regal, frontal, highly heretic pose. In her right hand, Our Lady holds the orb, the sphere of the universe. Whilst with her left hand, she is making a gesture to protect the child. The infant gives a blessing with his right hand, whilst in his left he holds a pineapple, a perennial fruit, a sign of fertility and eternal life. On the entrance to this magnificent statue, are murals of countless choirs of angels reminding us that we are never alone and we have an infinite amount of help from the angelic realms. And it was to this beautiful black Madonna and child in Montserrat in Spain that Saint Ignatius of Viola, Dom Ignacio, the patron of the Casa, surrendered his sword and his dagger, changing his entire way of life. leading by example, becoming a soldier for the Christ consciousness. So we are honored to have the presence of the Divine Mother and her baby infant Jesus and Don Ignacio working with us. in these solemn moments. As we work in a state of surrender and grace, letting go more and more and more of anything and everything that no longer serves us. Recognizing that we are safe. We are safe. We are safe in the arms of our Divine Mother Mary. And our beloved brother, Jesus, son of Mary, told us many, many centuries ago that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. Trusting the promises of the Christ consciousness, May Christ return to earth. And Jesus gave us all a beautiful gift, bestowing upon his 12 apostles at the Last Supper, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the centuries, teaching us how to pray, How to surrender to the will of God Almighty. How to bring heaven to earth. 
how to be in gratitude for all the gifts of life that we have been given. How to forgive ourselves and our brothers and sisters. We are protected from all darker forces and we honour creation eternally in this beautiful prayer full of hope and redemption. And the Lord's Prayer helps us to connect with our true home in the celestial fields. It reminds us before we pray, we need to forgive. So let us pray with open hearts, trustingly, without ceasing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation rather deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. And to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, the Black Madonna of Montserrat, Mother Earth, Mary reveals herself to us in various guises, but she is always there. We ask our Divine Mother in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children. To somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity, helping us to keep our hearts open, which is our mission on earth, and to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the compassion, the joy, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude, deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all carrot and disincarnate on our healing journeys back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us children, 
now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
all is in divine order. You are exactly where you're meant to be here now in this moment on Mother Earth in these human bodies walking the path of the light. There's no part of the human condition that doesn't involve some kind of suffering. The wounds are where the light gets in. We are equipped with everything we need and much, much more to do this cleansing healing work in these challenging times. There's no coincidences, no accidents. There's a reason why we're all together on earth. We all know each other, whether we know it or not. We've had many past lives together. And we've come together under the banner of Dom Ignacio. In love and in service to change the vibration of this planet that we call home for now. We have a job to do. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We're the warriors of the light. We are awoken, ignited on our paths. We're all going in the same direction. Some of us are going faster than others. It's not our job to change our brothers and sisters. Our job is to change ourselves, to go on this inner journey of the heart. We're already well on the way. Congratulations. And we have so much help from the other side. These entities of light and love are available to us 24 seven. Just reach out and ask for help. In the opening of this work, this afternoon, you may have heard a piece of music at the beginning. It was the Montserrat Boys Choir singing the Veroli. It's a hymn they traditionally sing every day and they will get back to it, no doubt about it. And it honours the Black Madonna of Montserrat, which is a huge high vibration, the sacred mountain, as she sits in the throne of wisdom, beaming out her magnificent love light to each and every one of us, her children. Let us pray the Veroli. April Rose, Morena of the Highlands, you are the star on top of Montserrat. Cast your light upon the Catalan land, guide us to heaven. With the gold saw, the little angels cut those hills to build you a palace. Queen of heaven, taken to earth by the seraphim. Give us shelter under your blue veil. Rising dawn, crowned with stars, 
city of God dreamed by King David. The moon lies at your feet. While the sun dresses you with its rays. You shall always be the princess of all Catalan people. And for the Spaniard, you shall be the star of the epiphany. Be for the virtuous a support in fortitude. And for the sinners, be a haven of salvation. Give comfort to those who long for their homeland, unable to see the mountain of Montserrat. Across both land and sea, listen to those who clamour to you. Guide back to God those hearts that have abandoned his flock. Mystical fountain that gives the water of life. Flow down from heaven into the heart of all countries. Let your gifts and graces blossom in it. Make of it, I beg you, your paradise. Blessed Mary are those eyes that look upon you. Blessed is the heart that opens to your light. Rosebush of heaven, surrounded by seraphim. Bless my prayer with your perfume. Gentle cedar, crown of Lebanon, incense tree, palm of Zion, the sacred fruit given by your love is Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world. With your name, our story begins. And Montserrat is our Sinai. Let all partake in the magnificent glory of those crags covered in rosemary. April Rose, Black Madonna, Star of Montserrat, guide us all, your children, to heaven. Amen.
trust, have faith, believe in these magnificent entities of light and love sent by our Creator to help us, guide us, protect us and love us. Ask with a contrite heart and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For those who ask, indeed receive. And to those who seek, indeed find. And to those who knock, the door is always open. God did not promise us it would be easy. God promised us it would be worth it. we're all in this together, children of God. We are on a planet of atonement. We are burning off our karma. Hard and all as that may seem, we chose to come here. We are more than we think. We move in and out of perishable bodies. And it's hard for us to be present in each and every moment. We need to make that crucial journey from the head to the heart. It may be only 12 or 13 inches, but it is the longest, most difficult journey we will ever make. The opening of our hearts is our mission on Earth. We are just walking each other home on this planet and when our lessons are learned here we will leave these physical bodies behind and be liberated into our true home in the celestial fields we need to change to become more compassionate more loving more grateful more forgiving, more peace and harmony with all of creation, which each and every one of us is an integral part of. Prayer helps us to make this crucial journey from the head to the heart. And today we say a prayer for everyone, each one of us here present, everyone who mothers, not necessarily the female form. And we hold in our hearts our ancestors who brought us to this very point in time. We shine our light 
for future generations to come on Earth. Let us pray to all those who are mothers, to all those who are not mothers in this particular lifetime, to all who are grieving their children this day, to all who are grieving their mothers this day. May we remember that according to the teachings of the Buddha, we have all at some point in our lifetimes been mothers to one another. May we remember that each of us mothers, that we all give and care and take care of one another in so many ways. May we honor our Earth Mother who sustains, nourishes and takes care of us all. May we vow to honor and see the goodness in all beings and take care of one another. And may all beings feel cared for, loved and held in the loving, open, safe arms of our Divine Mother into infinity. Blessed be. Amen.
as we bask in this glorious, beautiful energy of our Divine Mother, we now are open to receive a deep, deep, deep cleansing from these beautiful entities of light and love. As we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt, our grudges, our resentments, our anger, all of our issues over to our Creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this tensor energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more at peace and harmony with all of creation of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. If you'd like to visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees cleansing our oxygen carpets of magnificent, beautiful, fragrant flowers. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine symphony. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything and everything that is holding us back, stopping us from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. Remembering we are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. Let's bring medium Zhuao into this high vibration and anyone and everyone who has suffered or is suffering on behalf of the problems at the Casa and not forgetting our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this magnificent, celestial, high vibration pouring into our open hearts, let's share this beautiful bounty with all of our brothers and sisters on earth, pouring into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses and anyone who is in the caring profession Pouring into nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, asylums, orphanages, anywhere and everywhere on Mother Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering or in pain or are hungry. Allowing this gorgeous energy to pour forth into the war zones, bringing peace and harmony in our lifetime, remembering the words of Saint Rita of Katia. To God, all things are possible. Gushing forth into all the migrant camps, helping to liberate our brothers and sisters. Recognising we're all the same, interconnected, all part of the same shining web. Allowing this God light to pour forth into the consciousness of our government leaders. We need them now to make good decisions about our future and future generations to come. To put people before profit. This beautiful, pristine, crystal clear energy pouring into our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing, nurturing, Already, Mother Nature is bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God.
this beautiful cleansing healing energy enveloping Gaia pouring into the universe cleansing and healing all beings incarnate and disincarnate as it grows and multiplies into infinity
this solemn hour when our hearts are receiving these magnificent celestial blessings pouring from on high into our very being, nourishing us, renewing us, helping us on this journey on earth. We are in gratitude to God Almighty for this life we have been given. To these magnificent entities of light and love with us every step of the way. To Saint Mary, the Black Madonna of Montserrat, with your infant Jesus in your lap for your presence in our lives, always with us, watching over us, protecting us, loving us. And to all of you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, for your courage, dedication and allowing your own love light to shine in love and in service in these challenging times. Your faith will heal you. And all of those around you and Mother Earth and your love and your light are changing the world forever for the better. Congratulations. We pray so that all bitterness can be taken from us and we can start life afresh in harmony with Mother Earth again without hatred. We know that out of our own suffering that life cannot begin for the better except by us all forgiving one another. For if we do not forgive, we do not understand. And if we do not understand, we are afraid. And if we hate, we cannot love. And no new beginning on Mother Earth is possible without love. Love, loving, love. Namaste.